how to fake being sick. Pulling a Ferris Bueller is easier than you think, if you plan ahead. You will need a notebook to record dates and excuses, a somewhat gullible parent, and acting skills. Optional, cornflakes and hot liquids. Step one, commit this list to memory. A fever of 100 degrees or more, vomiting, diarrhea, earache, and sore throat. Doctors say these are valid reasons to miss school, so what parent would disagree? Step two, keep a log of dates and excuses so you can prevent patterns from developing. Never brag about missing days over the phone, email, or IM. You never know when your communications might be intercepted by an adult. Step three, become skilled at faking the onset of symptoms. Digestive ailments generally occur suddenly, while other maladies begin presenting themselves the night before. Lay the necessary groundwork. At dinner, mention how scratchy your throat is and don't eat a thing, especially dessert. Step four, if necessary, pull out the big guns. Broken cornflakes mixed with a little water make an excellent stand-in for vomit. <laughs> Step five, if your parents demand further proof, drink hot liquids before taking your temperature to produce a false reading. <coughs> Step six, congratulations. Your mom ordered you to stay home. When you sneak out, make sure you're back before anyone notices you're missing. Did you know? An estimated 150,000 young people, usually in their late teens or early 20s, are diagnosed with infectious mononucleosis each year.